Hi there, Al Spinks here, and thanks for your continued support of this series of posts. In this post, I'll discuss our personal values, the key to real success. The groundwork has now been laid, the connection between belief, faith, and our experiences in the physical world has been established. The workings of an impartial process that guarantees our life experiences have been explained. We know that the outcome of any process is guaranteed and called a result. The type of result we get is dependent upon the ingredients. Remember, however, that these results, when fueled by negative core beliefs, can make our lives a living hell. So what's missing, you ask? A lot, I say. Up to this point, all I have shown you is how to use a process that guarantees the success of your goal. However, this process is impartial and void of morality. We can use it to succeed in becoming a college professor, drug dealer, professional athlete, career criminal, or whatever we want. And because of free will, we can choose not to acknowledge our spiritual DNA. You are only limited by your imagination. If your only goal in life is to be rich, then I provided you the tools necessary to do so. These tools help establish the connection between belief, faith, and sight, which is how you experience the physical world. These tools can help you attain any goal. However, you must realize that goals based on greed and lust are short-lived. Every action has consequences associated with it. If, regardless of your circumstances, or situation, you wish to remain at peace with life, then there is one step that must be added. Your goals, decisions, thoughts, and actions should reflect eternal values. And it's your willingness to embrace these eternal values that brings you the material wealth and other resources necessary to attain your goals. All this material stuff is a byproduct of your goals and values. I know this sounds counterintuitive, so I'm just going to ask you to trust me on this. Eternal values are created by a life of service and helping others identify and reach their true goals. In case you're wondering, a life of service doesn't exclude you from becoming wealthy or powerful. Steve Jobs' goal was to help others. His wealth, fame, power was a byproduct of his goal and personal values. They enhanced his life but we're not the driving force behind it. These values are similar to core beliefs. They're the chosen guidelines by which we live. As a result, they should be reviewed, edited, rejected, or replaced as necessary. In my next post, I'll continue this discussion on personal values, the key to real success. So until next time, here's hoping that you live today and every day passionately and with purpose. Thank you and God bless.